Hi guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with an impromptu video I hadn't planned on filming today, thus my low-key look. Um, but today I'm here for an exciting video and this is the Raid the Arcade Collection Swatch and Review video by Polish Me Royalty. It's also really exciting because it's their one year anniversary collection. So it's not necessarily for a spring, it's just a celebration of everything that Sarah enjoys and let's talk about it. So the polishes are based on a variety of things. There's some obviously some game inspired ones, there's one supernatural one and there's also some anime inspired ones. So if I don't get the references for all of them I apologise. I do have kind of a cheat sheet to try and help me but um, I definitely don't know any of the anime ones. So let's just get started. There's eight polishes in this collection. The first one is called Nerf This and I think this is a gamer one. Um, and this is a beautiful hot pink base. And then it kind of looks like gum, like gumballs on your nails. There's so many tiny um, glitters in there. They are mainly in yellow and white, blue and purple. And they are just so fun and so vibrant. And yeah, it just, just looks like gumballs and sweets on my nails when I put it on. This did take two coats to get completely opaque. It's just so fun and bright. Um, really like this one. So that first one there is called Nerf This. The second one is called Whimsy Shire and this is based on the game um, Diablo 3 um, and this could be worn as a topper but I t got this opaque in two so I went with that because if I can make a micro wow. opaque I do. Mm -hmm. This one is a clear base with a ton of holographic and then the other um, micro glitters in there are mainly pink, lime and um, blue and purple and those ones are slightly larger so you have the general base is a silver holographic micro glitter and then you have slightly larger glitters in those four colours so like I say you could wear this as a dense topper and you would kind of lose the base a little bit or you can build this up to be completely opaque in two which is what you're going to see in the photo that I did so this second one here is called Whimsy Shire Up next is Nova Bomb, and this is another gamer inspired one. This is a beautiful purple jelly base with a ton of lighter lavender, silver and dark purple dark purple glitter in there. This is just beautiful. The glitter is a mixture of micro glitter and flaky so it's not as hard to remove because there are those flakies in there. Just a beautiful purple with glitter in it. I do love a good purple jelly uh, based glitter when I can. Um, so this is right up my street. So this one got completely opaque in three. This one is Nova Bomb. The kind of fun, kitschy polish in this collection is the only supernatural one and this one is called I'm Batman and this is inspired by there's an episode in season 3 um, where Dean exclaims that he is Batman and this is where this comes from. Um, this has this is a yellow based polish with a ton of black bat glitter in it. She did do a bat glittered polish for Halloween last year so I have seen the bat glitters before from Sarah. But like I say, very simple black bat glitter in the yellow base. Like all yellow base polishes that you would expect, this is going to take three coats to get completely opaque. I did get a nice amount of bats out on my nails. I think it was between two and three per nail. So no complaints. I don't think I would ever wear this as a full manicure. For me, this would be a great thing if you wanted to do a Batman themed nail and do this as an accent nail or maybe two nails. But I think all five for me was just a bit too much. Um, but it is fun and it's just, it's just a real, real fun polish. So this one took three coats and it's called I'm Batman. Next up we have Salt Mine, which is this beautiful white glitter polish that is another one that is can be either a topper or you can build up to be completely opaque by itself. I got it completely opaque pretty much in two. It did build up and start to be a little thick in two, so it's one of these glitters that you can't really do three coats on. So if you did want to do a third coat, um, I would say maybe sponge it on, um, but just I would say two coats is pretty much there or you can just wear it as one to coat as a topper. It does just look like raw kind of like salt on your nails. It's um, shiny and it's got white glitter in there and opalescent pearlescent glitter in there. It's just really nice and I love white nails. I just love white nails. If you do have Always, which came out in the Harry Potter collection, sorry, Austin's being noisy. If you have Always that came out in the Harry Potter collection, you possibly could give this one a pass because I don't believe that you do need both in your collection. That one is more of a pearlescent, more flaky, more of a colour shift to it, whereas this is more as a straight up white, but you might not feel that you need both. But this one got completely opaque in two. This one is Salt Mine. 
I'm gonna spoil it now and this one is my favourite. This one is called Riot. This is a beautiful blue polish but it also have, does, does have some kind of purple duochrome to it. Um, it's not really apparent in the bottle, it's more actually apparent on the nail but it does just have this beautiful colour shift so it's not a straight up navy blue. It's definitely got some real depth in there and just mm, I love this one. So that one there got completely no paint in two and that one is Riot. Austin is now currently playing with the noisiest toy that he owns right now. Um, so this one here is called Skyrim. This is a great base polish with a ton of multi-chrome flakies in it. This does take three coats to be opaque, but just look at those flakies in there. They just flash every colour of the rainbow and it just makes it just so unique and different. I've never seen a grey polish with this kind of duochrome, multi-chrome flakies in it before. This is completely new and unique, which most of the time Sarah does come up with pretty unique stuff. This gets completely opaque in three and this one is called Skyrim, I hope I said that at the start, which is of course based off of the game Skyrim. And the last one is called Sundered and this is a really jam-packed flaky top coat. You probably could kind of do this to be opaque but not really if you see what I mean. Um, it would still look clear but you'd get a strong um, flash in it but for me this is just a really great flaky topper and I don't have any flaky toppers. I kind of stayed away from them not on purpose when they were a big thing so now I finally have a flaky opalescent top coat to call my own. So this one here you're going to see one coat over black and this one is sundered. So that was the eight piece collection by Polish Me Royalty called Raid the Arcade for their one year anniversary. I can't believe that Polish Me Royalty has been going for one year. That's such a huge achievement. So congratulations to Sarah. Overall I just really love this collection. It's always with Polish Me Royalty is so fun and different and obviously there's some gamer related polishes because Sarah is very into games in her own life. So I just hope that you all enjoyed it and have found it as fun as what I did. Everything will be linked down below for you and also as well as my discount code which is non-affiliate. It's just out there if you want to try some and get some money off which you definitely do. Um, just a quick overview, the 6ml set is which I showed you. They are £25 for all eight and if you want the 10ml set it's £34 for all eight which is such a bargain. I find that Sarah's polishes are really, really reasonable price. So, everything is down below for you. Thank you for watching me with my less makeup and noisy child video. I appreciate you being here with me today. Let me know what your Polish Me Royalty favourites are down below and I will see you soon. Bye.